Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Cryptarium account so that you can get started buying cryptocurrencies on your phone. So let's get started. Okay, so Cryptarium is an app that you can download onto your phone on iOS or Android and you can get started buying cryptocurrencies. Now you can do a lot more than just buying. You can trade them, you can store them, you can stake them and earn interest. So there's a lot of great features in Cryptarium. I'm gonna show you how to download it and get started verifying your identity and getting your account set up. So let's get started. Now you can do this on their website. All right, you can also do it directly from your phone. I'll show you that, because I'm assuming most people are gonna just be doing it from the phone. All right, so you can run over to the App Store and search for Cryptarium, and uh, when you find it, you can download it onto your phone. Just keep in mind, it's that yellow icon with the uh, C on there. Once we've got it installed on our phone, we can just tap it and get started. Now, the first thing you'll wanna do is create an account. So I'm gonna walk you through that. All right, so you'll put in your phone number. You'll need to put your country code first, and then uh, create a password here. You're not giving them a password, you're creating one, a new one for yourself. So don't think that they're asking you for a password. All right, then they're gonna send you a code. All right, and then once you've received that code and verified, you should be able to get yourself signed in with your phone number and password. We need to get our identity verified. I don't know, a lot of people get really paranoid about this, but it is a legitimate company. And in order for you to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, they do need to verify your identity. So you're going to have to give them truthful details that match your ID. So I'm going to put in my name. All right. And choose my country. I'll confirm that. All right. So there are several options to fund your account. You can use a bank card. All right. So you can add a bank card. Uh, if you click buy here, and then uh, tap this add bank card. You can add a card to this account so that you can fund it. But before I get too much further, I would like to go ahead and verify my identity. If you'll notice, I go over to the profile here. I've only got 150 euro limit on my uh, spending, All right, And that's not very much. So let's go ahead and increase it by verifying our identity. I'm gonna hit increase limits here and they want me to verify my identity. So I'll uh, go ahead and click Start Verification. All right, and of course they're gonna ask me for a selfie and they're gonna want my ID. So I have my uh, ID handy right here, my driver's license. We'll hit Start Verification. Give it access to your camera. All right, and if you're having trouble with that part, uh, I would suggest moving to a place where you've got good light. Sunlight is probably your best, but if you've got like a shadow or anything over your face, it's gonna make it difficult, right? All right, so now we're ready for the identity card. Uh, I'm gonna use my driver's license. All right, so we'll just take a picture of that. All right, and it only needed the front. A lot of them, they'll ask for the back too, but this one only asks for the front. So I'm gonna hit close here. Okay, so they just sent me a confirmation email. It'll probably take about 24 hours. So once we get that verification, we'll go ahead and continue. All right, so I got my notice uh, within a few minutes, actually. So I'm good to go. So let's go back into the app. We'll check profile, and you can see that my limit there is uh, much higher now. All right, so uh, we can buy and sell cryptos with a little more uh, leeway, right? So I'll go ahead and get uh, a payment option set up. All right, so I'm gonna set up the easiest option, uh, which is the bank card. I'll hit buy here. All right, and then at the top there, it says add bank card. So I'm gonna tap that. I'll put in the number. All right, now they, these do need to be debit cards. It doesn't look like they support credit cards. So it's gotta be a debit card. We'll hit save here. All right, and then we need to verify our bank card. All right, so what they'll do is they'll send you just a really, they're gonna, they'll debit the card with a very small transaction, and then you can look that up in your banking app to get that little code there. So I'm gonna click Start Verification. All right, you need the security number of the card. 
more attentively. Okay. All right. All right, I got an alert from my bank that that was fraud, so I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to say yes, that it was me. All right, and now I can go ahead and try again. All right, so I'll go back over here to the app. I'll hit try again. I'll do the start verification one more time. It's going to ask me for the code of my card, the security code of my card. All right, now I can go over to my banking app and get this four-digit code. So I'll just uh, swing over to my uh, Chase app in my case. All right, and there I can see that little uh, six cent uh, debit on my account. And there's that code there. So I've got the code now. All right, and then I'll hit submit code. All right, and now the card is verified. I can close this right now. And as you can see, the card has been entered there as a payment option. Let's try 50 euros and see what that does. All right, so I can put in uh, the euros or I could actually just put in the amount of Bitcoin that I want, right? And then it would automatically update the euros. Let's stick with 50, which I think I'm not sure what the rate for euros to dollars is, but uh, I'll, I'll, I can deal with it. <laughs> All right, I can even check on CoinGecko to see how much that is in dollars. Right, so I'm attempting to buy 0 0.0015 Yeah, it's like $57, right? It's not, not that much more than 50. All right, so I'll go ahead and hit buy BTC here. All right, and then I need to confirm that zero fee for one purchase i need to enter the uh, code of my card again i'll hit buy again hopefully it's going to go through oops okay well we entered our security code of our card at uh, the purchase let's see if this works and it looks like i got it right 50 euros, I got a uh, email notification, we'll hit done. And now I have uh, more Bitcoin in my account. All right, so I just purchased some Bitcoin using my debit card in Cryptarium. This ought to get you started. I'll throw up some more videos later on uh, trades and transfers, but I wanted to just get you started for those of you who want to buy some uh, crypto. Now, uh, we can also click uh, buy and switch from Bitcoin to any number of other cryptocurrencies. So we could do ETH if we wanted, or Bitcoin, or uh, as you can see, they have quite a few here to choose from. All right, so if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.